Imagine walking into a martial arts school and the instructor hands you a stick on your first day. Not to defend yourself, not to learn stick fighting, but to teach you how to punch. Sounds crazy, right? Like learning piano by starting with a trumpet. But what if this backwards method could make you twice as dangerous in half the time? Filipino fighters have used this approach for centuries, and neuroscience now proves they were right. Here's what's at stake. Most people waste years learning fighting the hard way, empty hand first, weapons later, as separate systems. But there's a shortcut hiding in plain sight. The twist, your brain learns fighting faster through weapons than bare hands. The stick is a teaching tool that accelerates your entire combat development, including unarmed skills. Today, we're exposing Filipino martial arts teaching system so intelligent that children who learn it develop superior reflexes compared to adults training traditional martial arts for decades. Master Apollo Ladra teaches, our usage of sticks is basically to develop the attribute of all of our hand technique. The stick isn't what you're learning, it's a tool teaching your body how to fight. In Filipino martial arts, FMA, Kali, Arnis, Eskrima, Weapons and empty hands are the same system. Stick movements equal fist movements. Knife angles equal punching angles. This is weapon to empty hand transference, FMA's secret. Most martial arts work backwards, spend years learning punching, then later learn weapons as different skills. FMA starts with weapons because weapons teach better. When you swing a stick, you get instant feedback. You feel weight, timing errors, wrong angles. Mistakes become obvious, corrections clear. The genius. Once your body understands fighting through weapons, empty hands aren't new learning. You're doing what you know without holding anything. Ladra proves this. He shows stick drills, removes sticks, shows identical empty hand movements. Nothing changes. Angles, timing, footwork stay the same. One training equals two skills. Brilliant. FMA teaches, defense is the enemy's problem. Don't think, wait, defend, counter. Too slow. There's a gap where you're not threatening anyone. Instead, attack and defend simultaneously. Constant forward pressure. Always attacking, making opponents react to you. Our methodology is offense, counter-offense, re-counter-offense. Defense is the other guy's problem, Ladra says. Traditional fighting block, then hit. There's delay. FMA removes that by hitting while defending. If I play defense, I'll get cut. When you're offensive from the beginning, you use the person as a shield. Real meaning? When defending, you're hitting simultaneously, controlling their weapon hand, setting up next moves. Everything does multiple jobs. Attack creates defense. Constant attacking forces opponents to defend. They react to you. You control everything. Ladra teaches entry four. Why four? One, two, three, four. Four different kinds of entry. The four-door system maps every attack direction and opportunity. Every time we engage, that's a line given to me. If there's no line, I don't know where to start. There has to be a given line, Ladra says. These are attack angles. Diagonal strikes, horizontal strikes, center line thrusts, variations. Each needs different positioning and timing. When you make contact bisecting the line, you have these doors, seeing openings. Four entryways. With sticks, no difference. Weapons or empty hands, doors stay constant. FMA works three ranges. Largo, mano, medio, cordo. Distance controls tactics. He is seeing when opponents move between distances and exploiting that moment. Ladra always uses back of hand blocking, never palm. Back of hand, when he pulls and cuts, I can still function. This way exposes veins and arteries. Handbacks have bones and tendons. Wrist insides have veins and arteries. Using handbacks protects vulnerable parts. The back hand does more. Works like counterbalance, guards head and center line, prepares power strikes. Backhand strikes generate more power through better weight transfer and hip rotation. In weapons, power comes from whole body. 
stance changes, back muscles, hip rotation, foot movement. Everything creates force. The backhand also does a live hand work. Watches opponent's weapon hand, controls center, creates chances to strike or trap. Everything connects. Attacks protect you. Defense creates attack chances. This sensitivity drill allows us to know where that blade is at all times, Ladra explains. FMA uses drills building touch sensitivity, sensing position, and reading opponent intentions through feeling, not watching. Hubud Lubud, continuous hand fighting contact, not watching hands, feeling them. Reading weight shifts, pressure changes through touch. Sumbrata flow drill develops three levels, basic muscle memory, timing recognition, real-time decision-making under pressure. Brain science. These drills create measurable brain changes, strengthen feeling moving connections, develop faster thinking pathways. Research shows six weeks of body awareness training creates measurable improvements. Learning improves awareness, while awareness improves learning. Compound gains. Important question. If adults need six weeks minimum, what happens starting as children? We hide mechanics in our program to teach them combative Kali, Ladra says. Not simplifying, embedding complex mechanics into age-appropriate training teaching advanced concepts. Children's brains learn better, create pathways easier, adapt patterns faster. Starting with weapons teaches fundamentals through extended tools. Weapons give better sensory feedback, feeling impact and weight, making mistakes obvious. Level-based progression slowly increases demands, matching motor learning theory where new skills need thinking. Brain activation first, but automatic responses develop through practice. FMA training develops executive function, attention control, response management simultaneously. Structured drills exercise brain networks, essential for cognitive control. Body awareness emphasis exploits childhood windows when movement control brain areas are most adaptable. Training during childhood creates lasting brain changes appearing after just four weeks. By teenage years, practitioners embed complex mechanics into automatic brain pathways. Students start with single angle drills, advance to multiple angles with footwork, eventually make real-time tactical decisions. Simultaneously, weapon training develops empty hand skill Stick principles translate to hand striking. Spatial and timing management transfers to unarmed fighting. When he thrusts, that's knocking senses out. What other fighting system claims that unified intelligence? None. Filipino martial arts discovered something working with human neurology. The smarter path everyone else missed. Now you know the secret.